I guess if we just start, you were on an injury report yesterday. How is your knee? Where did that pop up? Was it practice in the game? If you could kind of maybe give no, us anything. No, it was on actually it. before the game. So um, it's actually progressively gotten better since then. So all good. Okay. Was yeah. it in the game? You said before the game, I guess, practice that week or something? Yeah, I just woke up Saturday morning, honestly. <laughs> so I don't know. Drew, obviously you guys prepare to win every game, but the circumstances were different last year, week 17, than this year. You already have locked up the one seed this year. You're trying to get to the one seed. Does that change the mentality of, of, of the guys playing in the game and, and that kind of thing? Well, you, you always you always make those decisions based upon, um, you know, kind of where you are and, you know, the, the, the need for rest, maybe for some guys, um, if you have the ability to, right? But bottom line is right now, man, we, we've got to, We've got to win to position ourselves in the best way possible. And there's, there's an element that we control, and then there's an element that we don't control. But bottom line is we, we, still, want just the, we still want the mindset to be that we're playing our best football you know, heading into the playoffs. And so, man, this is all hands on deck. This is play our best game, play our best football, see how everything else shakes out, and then we'll see where we're at. Did you have a miss five games this season? Um, I mean, I, I, I feel like I've, I've progressive, I feel better as the season goes on, you know, honestly. Um, I just feel more in rhythm. I feel um, like my process is really fine-tuned by, by that point. And um, that's when I want to be playing my best football, you know. And so I feel good right now. I know that is there a reason why in the last few seasons of your career you're Completion percentage keeps going up, and your interceptions have gone down. I mean, have you put more of an emphasis on efficiency? For I have. Reason? Yeah, I have. Um, I think that's uh, that's experience and wisdom, as well. Um, it's. Um, I mean, listen. There's so much that goes into that, but I think it's. You know, it's a simple philosophy, but then you got to go out and execute it right, and the execution is. Is the difficult part, right? But uh, that simple philosophy is, you know, take care of the football and throw completions, get positive plays, right? Completions are positive plays, right? Um, avoid avoid negative plays, right? Um, and again, that's the simple way of saying it. And there's a lot that goes into that, and then you got to go out and execute it. But very simply, I think that's that's really been a focus of mine over the last five years. Does that take the place of any kind of risk? reward mentality? I mean, I guess there were there's some, some seasons where you had higher interception rate while you were also throwing for more yards and touchdowns. I mean, is, do you have to choose one or the other a little bit? Or? Um, yeah, uh, I think every season is different. You know, I, I definitely think we've had seasons around here where we've had to really be more aggressive, right? And, and so there is risk reward with that, right? Um, so yes, that, that's, that's, that's absolutely true. Um, you know, you each season is different. You, you know, you, you kind of gauge what's happening, how the game is, is being played, you know, and then therefore kind of maybe how you need to play or how you need to alter your play a little bit. Um, I hate using the word conservative just because that, that, can't, that can't really be a mentality, but there's that time to, you know, try to force that one in there or push it down the field or, you know, throw it into that tight window, and then there's a time when, you know what, that's not worth it right now. We're going to check it down, and we're going to live to play another day um, mentality. As far as I know that you all obviously need to win and you need some help to get the one or the two seed, but do you all discuss the importance of the one and the two seed given the history of those teams advancing to the Super Bowl, or is it just something you don't pay attention to right now because you can't control it? Well, bottom line is we understand the importance of it because of home field advantage and the fact that you just don't have to play an additional game, right? Um, and then have the exposure from that, you know? I mean, you, know, you, you would hate to lose somebody, right, um, uh, by having to play another game, you know? So, yeah, it, it's, and then, of course, the rest, right? You know, getting that week rest, I, I feel like, is a huge benefit. Um, knowing that we had it last year, right? I mean, we, I think we, we understand the benefit of, of getting that first round by. Drew Carolina still leads the league in sacks, but they've had a drastic change, obviously, or the head coach has changed. Do they look pretty much the same? Philosophically, and what they've done since the change. Yeah, there's been there's been there's been some I think uh, maybe slight tweaks. You know, maybe doing a little bit more of something than, than than what they were doing. But bottom line is they 
it all shows up. You know, they have the ability to do it all, and so you know we got to be ready for it all. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd say overall they're still doing all the good things. You know, that, that, that we saw in the first time that we we, we played them, which is you know getting getting pressure on the quarterback with. You know, I wouldn't say a ton of pressure. You know, um, a lot of uh, just kind of four-man rush. You know, and they, and they got a good stable of pass rushers that they kind of rotate through. Um, so they've done a good job of that. Drew Taysom playing a lot of different spots, especially new, but yeah. the, uh, the, the passing game has been like this. Yeah. Is involved in the receiver this year? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much? I think it's ticked up. I mean, it's it's ticked up. You know, um, throughout the course of this season, just well, number one, he's a weapon. You know, he can do it. Number two. You know, he's he's such a physical you know presence, um, and a lot of times he's blocking, he's blocking, and 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 so you know people can lose track of him, you know, or um, you know they just assume that, that that that's not really a guy that you know is going to be a part of the passing game. So you know we, we kind of pick and choose our spots, you know, but um, it's certainly something that he's capable of. You know, he's shown that. Um, he's still, you know, just kind of amazes me at just all the things that you know he's able to do and obviously he becomes a big weapon for us to be able to do all those things. And when when a guy like, like Jared Cohen for example yeah. this year yeah. Trey Cohen, it's like yeah. a guy ready that you can just kinda of plug in with you need him. Yeah, I mean he is he's he is he's truly ready ready, you know, for, for just about any position. Um where where and he and he's such a smart guy, you know, playing the quarterback position. You, you, you really have to know what everybody's doing, right? And yes, there's technique involved with, you know, some of the things that he's doing that obviously we're not working on every day as quarterbacks. But I'd say just his overall knowledge level of a concept or, you know, uh, whether it's run game or pass game, he, he can, you can just plug him in and he kind of he knows the responsibility, which is, you know, pretty remarkable. Does he almost, just to follow up on that, does he almost, not to say be careful, but if he becomes so good as a receiver, is that, I mean, could he become like an Edelman type where it's kind of like people may say, maybe this is your path to a long career, or is that just something that, you know, he's still a quarterback and cross that bridge when you get there? Like if he gets um, so good at running. I, I understand, I understand what you're saying. Um, he's, I mean, he, he's a unicorn. Like, I, I've never, I've never seen any body like him that can do all the things that he can do. He can play the quarterback position, and at some point, I hope he gets that opportunity. You know, um, he can throw the football, he can run the football, he can do so many things. Um, but he's such a great athlete and asset in other places as well that uh, you know that's that's kind of where he's needed now. And he's such a selfless player in regards to doing whatever he can to help his team win, and that's what we all love about him. Um, and I think that just it speaks volume about who he is, his character. But um, when he gets the opportunity to play quarterback, you'll see. Joe, have you kept up much with all one of all time team? What's that? Have you kept up much with? I mean, you know, you're a finalist for that. Yeah, what no. That mean to you just to um, I actually have a lot of those episodes recorded at home, and I'm just kind of waiting to have the chance to see them all. I, I love, obviously, I love the history of this game and this being a significant year, being the hundredth year of the NFL, professional football. Um, I, uh, it's obviously a tremendous honor to, to be a finalist for um, the quarterback position. I mean, when you think about all the great ones that have played this game. and So just being in that category is pretty awesome. Drew, you talked about the importance of the two seed. Is there a little feeling of helplessness that there's only so much you guys can do this weekend that you need help? Um, well, you, again, worry about the things you can control, right? So we want to be playing our best football going into the playoffs, <laughs> regardless of whether that means we play next week or we get next week off and we get to play the following week. We, it doesn't change our mindset as far as how we're going to play this game.